Hey Nick, how are you today? Oh, I'm feeling great, thanks Beth. And since last session, I've been eating really healthy and I've got so much more energy. Well, that's great, Nick, because you're going to need it shortly for the morning move session. Oh, I can't wait for that, Beth. I'm really excited. Tell me, what are we learning about today? Well, today's an interesting one, Nick. We're going to be shape detectives. Oh, I can't say I've ever been a shape detective before, Beth, but I'll certainly give it a go. shapes are all around us. Whether it's this triangle tortilla crisp, the square window over there, or the circular face of this pocket watch. There really are shapes everywhere we look. And there's also loads of shapes in rugby. The pitch, for example, is full of rectangles. Nick, did you know we are completely surrounded by 2D shapes? Oh, I've never thought of it like that before, Beth. And I'm super excited for today's session. I just can't wait to find out more. Well, you're going to have to wait just a little bit longer. We need to remind you guys, if you're learning with us today, we would love to hear from you. Ask a grown-up to tweet us at Prem Rugby and then share what you've been up to using the hashtag LearnWithUs. And remember, guys, you always need an adult's permission if your photos go online. But let's warm up our minds and our bodies and get our morning moves on. Over to you, Coach Callum. Hi guys, it's Cal Morris, it's time for Morning Moves with me and Premiership Rugby Champions. So, we're going to do four different exercises for 30 seconds work and 30 seconds rest. So, our first step exercise is two lateral jumps, three high knees. Two lateral jumps, three high knees. We're going to go in a couple seconds, so get ready. And let's go. One, two, one, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. We're about halfway through. Let's get a few more done. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. This will really get the blood going around our body, guys. Come on. Last one. One, two, three. Good. And take a rest. Whew. We have 30 seconds rest. So for this one, I'm going to use a ball. If you knock off ball, Use a pillow or a pair of socks. They'll work just fine. So, what we're going to do, we're going to jump on the spot, and every now and again, we're going to do a big rugby pass dummy. Throw a dummy, do your best dummy, go both ways, okay? We're going in five seconds, so take a couple deep breaths. Ready? Let's go. Jump on the spot, throw a dummy, throw a dummy. Throw it away. Keep going. Keep going. Throw it away. Keep going. We're about halfway through. Keep going. Throwing dummies. Keep going. We have 10 seconds, so I want to see your two best dummies now. Whoa. Good. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Whew, that was a hard one. So now we're going to slow it down a little bit. So, we're going to do what I like to call slow motion burpees. So, we're going to put our hands down, step one leg back, step the other leg back, step in, stand up and clap, okay? So, we've got about 10 seconds rest. So, take a couple of deep breaths in. Right, we're going in a couple seconds. Let's go. And clap. Hands down, step one foot back, other foot back, step in and clap. We're about halfway through, let's try and get two or three more done. Step in, clap. Hands down, step back, step back, step in and clap. Hands down, step back, in and clap and rest. That was really good guys, well done. So, we're now on to our last exercise. For our last exercise, we're going to go really quick. So we're going to do high knee sprints. So these will make us nice and fast. So you've got to be fast and rugby new. So we're about halfway through our rest. So let's take a few more big deep breaths in and out. 
and we're going in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. High knees. Let's go. Good. Keep going. Go really. I want to see you going really fast here. Twenty seconds to go. This is our last exercise, so put it all in. Get really fit and healthy. Yeah. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Who's going really fast? Four. Three. Two. One. Whew. And we're done. That was morning moves this morning. Back to some learning now. Whew. Thanks, Coach Callum. That was certainly a great workout. And I was throwing some proper shapes in that morning moves. Did you see what I was doing there, Beth? Shapes? Get it? Oh, Nick. Well, I'm glad to see you're enthusiastic about shapes already. Today, we're going to be focusing on 2D shapes. Now, these are shapes that have sides and corners, but they're completely flat. For this next bit, you're going to need a pencil, a pen and paper. And if you haven't got them ready, just pause the video now and go and get them. Right then, my champ is at home. I've got my pen and my paper, and as always, I'm ready to listen carefully. You may not know it, but we are constantly surrounded by different types of shapes. The coaster you put your tea on, that's a circle. The keys on the keyboard that you use to type, well, they're usually oblongs or squares. Or the honeycomb in a beehive, hundreds and thousands of tiny hexagons. But what is a 2D shape? Well, 2D stands for two-dimensional. So this means that the shape can be measured by two dimensions, its length and its breadth. They don't have any thickness. So put simply, 2D shapes are flat. Have a think, can you name some 2D shapes? Well, hopefully you came up with things like circle, square, rectangle, triangle, oval, trapezium, rhombus, pentagon, hexagon, or octagon. Let's take a look at one or two of them. Circles have no corners. They just have one long side, which goes all the way around them. Can you think of any circular objects? Wheels, clocks, and slices of orange are all circular. Next up, we've got triangles. Now, triangles have three corners and three sides. Can you think of any triangular shaped objects? Pizza, tortilla chips, and sometimes even sandwiches can be triangular. Squares have four corners and four equal sides. Equal means the same, so all of the sides are the same length. Sometimes windows can be square, cheese crackers can be square, and even scrabble pieces. Finally, let's take a quick look at rectangles. Rectangles are similar to squares, but they have two longer sides and two shorter sides. Can you think of any rectangular objects? Postcards, TVs and books are all rectangular. Now there's loads more shapes for you to discover, so get your looking glasses on and start exploring the world of 2D shapes. Gee whiz, I never knew shapes all around us Beth. Yes, Nick. And once you know their names, it's really easy to identify them as well. So did you know that when you look really carefully, shapes can be found everywhere, even inside buildings? Oh, like buildings like where, Beth? Like my home? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And funnily enough, that leads us nicely into your first challenge. You've got three minutes to go on a 2D shape hunt around your house and be a shape detective. And don't forget to take a pen and paper with you to record all the different shapes you found around your home. For example, I've got my iPad here and it's a rectangle. 
Very good work, Nick. So on your list, you'd write down iPad dash rectangle. Hopefully you guys at home are ready to hunt. Your three minutes starts now. That is it, your time is up. Now, hopefully you were brilliant shape detectives and you managed to find some 2D shapes. Nick, what did you find in your house? Oh, I absolutely loved that 2D shape treasure hunt. I looked everywhere, everywhere I looked, there were shapes. Check this out. Sometimes I referee junior rugby club matches and these are in my pocket. Aren't they cool? They're rectangles. They are very cool, Nick, but hopefully you don't have to use that card too often. I wonder how our champions at home got on. Take a look at this list of 2D shapes that we found in our homes and make a note of how many you were able to identify. Well, I manage most of those shapes on that list, Beth, but there's still some more that I need to keep hunting for, so maybe I'll take another look a bit later on. That sounds like a plan, Nick. I wonder how many shapes our champions found. It would be great to see the shapes that you guys found in your homes. Yeah, that's right, Beth. Champs, we'd love to hear from you, so why not take a photo or a video of some of the shapes that you found and tweet us at Prem Rugby using the hashtag LearnWithUs. Top marks if you found an octagon or even a trapezium. Those are some really tricky shapes. Right then, Beth. Now I've found some shapes inside my home. Where else can I look for them? 
Well, that's a good question. But Nick, shapes are often used when designing the outside of buildings too. Ooh, this sounds interesting. Tell me more. Well, the architect, the person who designs the building, will often use different shapes to not only make the building look really good, but also to make it really strong. Triangles, for example, are really strong. So when a force is applied to it, the force will spread evenly through the three sides. And you often see triangles in things like bridges. Hmm. Come to think of it, you know, I think you might be right. I think I have seen some shapes in bridges and some other buildings. Do you fancy a challenge, Nick? As we've been talking about finding 2D shapes in different building designs, I've been taking a quick peek at some of the Premiership Rugby Stadium designs. Check out what I found. This is King's Home Stadium, home of Gloucester Rugby. Can you identify any 2D shapes? Make a note of them with your pen and paper. I don't know about you, but I found some rectangles. I've got some big rectangles and then smaller, narrower ones inside the bigger rectangle. Good job, everyone. Welcome to Matolly Woods Welford Road Stadium, home of Leicester Tigers. Can you find any shapes in this picture? I found loads of shapes in this stadium. There's a large rectangle on the top of the stand with lots of triangles running in between. I also found more rectangles in the seating area. I've got rectangles in rectangles again. Here's a great aerial image of Saracen's home ground, the Stonex Stadium. It's pretty scary this high up, but it's a great view for spotting shapes. What shapes can you see? Take a moment and note some down. Hopefully you champions identify some just like me. I've marked the perimeter of the pitch with the yellow rectangle. Then you've got an oval, which is the running track around the outside of the pitch, and you can see this in green. I've also identified a square, which is red, and a smaller rectangle inside that square. Also, the roof of the stand is a large rectangle. Did you spot any others? Be sure to let us know all of the different shapes that you spotted. I'm feeling pretty confident after that, Beth. Rugby stadiums and buildings contain so many shapes in their design. Who would have thought it? <laughs> I know, right? They really do. Do you reckon you could be an architect and design a rugby stadium? Oh, absolutely no problem. In fact, Beth, I love drawing and I draw so much. I've already sketched my stadium design. Well, now I'm intrigued, Nick. Can you show me? Well, as you can see, Beth, I've got some lovely windows, which are circles in my design. Then I've used some squares for the doors and the arena's oval with the floodlights as triangles. Wow, fair play, Nick. You have absolutely nailed that stadium design. <laughs> well, you know, I am such a big rugby fan. Imagine if the next Premiership rugby final could be played there. I mean, can you just imagine? Well, it would be incredible. Here's an idea. Do you reckon our champions at home could design their own 2D shape-filled stadiums? Ah, oh, that sounds like a wicked plan, Beth. Right then, choose your next challenge, guys. Have a think about your favourite stadium. Close your eyes and imagine it. Right. You're going to use that as inspiration to design your very own rugby stadium. You can use the pen and paper from earlier in the session, or if you've got an iPad or a tablet, you could sketch it on there. Excellent. Here's the plan. We'll give you three minutes to make a rough sketch, like mine, of a brand new rugby stadium. And remember to include as many 2D shapes as you can. I'll leave my sketch on the screen to inspire you. Yep, that's a great idea, Nick. And don't worry about including too many details right now or it being super neat. It's just a rough sketch because you can always come back later and neaten it up after the session.
Oh, wow. That was some high-pressure sketching, Nick. I know. And I'm so bloody excited to see what our champions at home have come up with, Beth. Perhaps you guys can tweet this at Prem Rugby using the hashtag Learn With Us so we can take a look at some of your shape-filled stadium designs. Oh, that would be absolutely brilliant. Who knows? You guys at home might just be rugby stadium designers of the future. Hey, I share an idea for you guys. Why don't you try building your stadium design in Lego or Minecraft or any other items you have around the home? Nick, that is an absolutely fantastic idea. I know that there's a box of Lego in my house, so I know what I'm doing this afternoon. Keep us posted with how you get on by tweeting us. That's it, guys. We hope you've enjoyed this Premiership Rugby Champions Learn With Us session today. And remember... Stay home, stay safe, and learn with us. We'll see you next time.